this time show values I'm going to take a 12 volt battery and a 4 ohm resistor I make that 4 ohms join it up when we did this in series in a series circuit you just add resistors together so 10 and 10 is 20 but in parallel something slightly different happens there's one resistor it's a 4 ohm connected to a 12 volt battery if I bring an ammeter out what current should we get now I equals V over R 12 divided by 4 should be 3 amps there it is but what happens if we bring out another 4 ohm resistor make it 4 ohms right move that current out just now What's going to happen to the current that's coming out the battery and going back to the battery? But we've got two resistors in parallel. Well, there's the two resistors. Here's the current. It's six amps. By adding an identical resistor in parallel, the current has doubled. Can I think about that? This is a bit like opening up checkouts at the supermarket. If you've only got one checkout open, I get rid of this just now. If you've only got one path, then only a certain amount of current can flow. If you open up another identical path, if you open up another checkout, then twice as much can get through, twice as many people can get served. People will get served twice as quickly. So the current is twice as much as it was before. And here's the thing, if the current is twice as big, it means the resistance, the total resistance, must have been half of what it originally was. Now if we do Ohm's Law, if we work out what the total resistance of these two resistors is, Remember, R equals V divided by I. The resistance is the voltage divided by the current. 12 divided by 6 is 2 ohms. So when you add resistors in parallel, you end up with a smaller number. In this case, 4 plus 4 equals 2. Now, how do we do that? We need to use a wee bit of mathematical jiggery-pokery, and I'll show you that on paper. Adding resistors in parallel is a bit trickier, okay, because each resistor is in its own path. So if that was a 4 ohm and that was a 4 ohm, then just thinking about this one, how much current would go through that path? Well, if this was a 12 volt battery, then the current flowing through here, I equals V over R would be 3 amps. This is a completely separate path, so we would also get 3 amps flowing through this one. And 3 going that way and 3 going that way means we get 6 amps coming out the battery. 3 going that way, 3 going that way, and then 6 amps going back to the battery. Now, if we have 12 volts and a total of 6 amps, then, using Ohm's Law again, the total resistance of the circuit is the total voltage divided by the total current, which is 2 ohms. Our problem is, how do we add 4 and 4 and get 2? Now here's the equation for adding resistors in parallel. It's 1 over the total equals 1 over the first one plus 1 over the second one. Now, this is fractions. Folk are either good at fractions or not so hot. So, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is 2 over 4. Simplify that. 1 over 2. So, 1 over the total resistance equals 1 over 2. Flip it. I'm going to flip the whole lot upside down. So, RT over 1 equals 2 over 1. So the total resistance is 
two ohms. Now I have prepared the whole sheet on how to do this with your calculator and you can do this with any two resistors or more than two resistors in parallel just by learning how to use your calculator properly. In fact, I'll show you another example of that. Right, here's a wee example, another example of adding resistors in parallel. If you've got 120 ohm in parallel with a 60, how do you find the total of the two of them? You don't just add them because they're not in series, they're in parallel. You have to use the parallel equation. If you want to do it the long way, you do it by 1 over 120 plus 1 over 60. Oh, and then you have to find a common denominator, so that's right. 1 over 120 plus 2 over 120 is 3 over 120 and then you flip that to get RT over 1 equals 120 over 3 is 40 ohms. That's the long way to do it. Is there an easier way to do it? If you don't like fractions, yes there is. You use your calculator. Your calculator, Casio FX83 or 85 if you can get one, your calculator does it for you. You need to know the buttons though. What's our two resistors? 120 and 60. So we want to do this sum, but do it quickly on our calculator. There's three buttons you need to know about. First button is this one. That's the fraction button. Watch, if I press it, a wee fraction appears here. We want to put in 1 over 20, so we press the number 1, cursor down, 120, that's 1 over 120, cursor across, plus, we want a fraction again, 1 over 60. So that sum on my calculator is the same as that sum there, equals, now that's 1 over the total resistance. So we need to flip that. There's a button in your calculator called the flip it button. It says x to the minus 1 on it. Let's press it. And then answer equals 40 ohms. Same as before. Right? There might be some trickier questions than this though. Where it gives you a cert as an answer. And you have to press the STD button to get it as a decimal. Okay? But that's it really. Fraction button, flip it button, STD button, to put it as a decimal number. Let's try loads of examples.